Good morning, fellow saints. Um, I missed the past two mu mu uh, two Music Mondays, so <laughs> I thought it was uh, thought it was time to get back on that. Uh, sorry, uh, I really have no good excuse. I mean, I could make an excuse about how I left my guitar at at church or whatever, but I mean, let's be honest. I have enough guitars to um, compensate for that. So. With no excuse, I come. <laughs> uh, today's song is a song from 1977 uh, called I Exalt Thee. And I'm going to do it in the key of E, but I usually do it a little bit lower for congregation. Um, it's not very good for my voice, so I probably would be better in G for me. but Or maybe F sharp. Uh, but... It goes good for the average person in it. For thou, Lord, I rise above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above other gods. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above other gods, and I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, oh Lord, I exalt thee. I exalt thee, I exalt thee, O Lord. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above other gods. For thou, O Lord, Above all the earth, thou art exalted far above other gods. And I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, oh Lord. I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, oh Lord. Um, you can do it a little bit slower, but obviously the whole point of this is just to preserve some of the older songs. Um, because this new generation is kind of losing sight of them. And uh, I think they're really good. You know, uh, worship songs have a lot of different purposes. Some of them have more of a purpose to just worship God, whereas other ones have more of a purpose to help people focus in and, and, and dwell on the Holy Spirit, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I, I know I hear people say that say that leading worship is all about constantly giving praise to the Lord, which is true. But sometimes, especially in our culture where everybody's so rushed and we're so stuck to a schedule, sometimes it's good to sing a song that just helps people realize, you know, who God is and to dwell on that. You know, um, you sing songs like Holy Ground, you know, does it really have any purpose? Well, not other than to get you to think about God. We are standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Um, you know, let us praise Jesus now. Um, we are standing in his presence on holy ground. Now, does that really give praise to the Lord in the sense of forthright praise, like immediate praise? No, but it g gives him praise by extension. You understand what I'm saying? So I guess what I'm saying is, you know, it's important to remember these songs. Uh, they do have a place um, and a time, uh, and be creative with them.
with the, with the worship songs that you enjoy. Well, I hope you like this song. Um, you might notice I've played it kind of fast. Normally, it's supposed to be played a little, a little bit slower. Like, I would say, I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh, Lord. More like that. Um, but, I mean, all songs you can you can tweak. I mean, when you're leading worship, you know when to go longer or shorter. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tune in next time. Thanks. God bless.